so there are these creatures uh, called the protopets, and you know, you know, you might think they look cute and you know, and nice, and you know, but suddenly those are really evil monsters, and those things are pain in the ass. But yeah, how do I know? I did play the game in the past, but I don't remember the story. I don't even know it good. But anyways, so um. The thief turned out to be uh, a person, well I'm not going to spoil it yet, named Angela Cross, and you know, many uh, fan, fans of the, of the series uh, support uh, Angela and Ratchet being the true couple. You know, Ratchet can handle on his own, and I don't mind who is Ratchet's girlfriend, real girlfriend, but we'll get to see that later, but right now we're not. So anyways, um... Angel Cross is uh, someone uh, who can actually. Uh, first, uh, she she was a thief, and right now she's helping out Ratchet and Clank to defeat. Um, this there's this other guy who's also a villain, but I don't know his name. But you can tell in the comments below. And um, later on, the game it turns out that Quark once again is a villain, but this time he is actually the main villain of this game. But suddenly he was betrayed by one of those giant uh, gi giant getting. Gigantic proto proto pet. Uh, sorry for my proper English. Anyways, he was betrayed. He was eaten, and you have no choice because those things that thing can actually cause anything. So you have no choice to actually fight the thing. And so Ratchet decided to not kill that thing, but actually, you know, turn him back, turn him back to normal, make it less evil. It spits out Quark and Mr. Fist Widget, as I can tell. And so you know Quark. They just left Quark behind because, you know, he's the cause of everything of this. So, and there's this uh, little robot who actually has a crush on Clank. Uh, I do not know the name. You know, she's actually the infobot of uh, Clank Commando, as I can tell. Um, you know, at the end of the game, Clank actually started to like her as well, but not that much. And in the ending of the game, they showed some sort of uh, picture of some sort. Clank was like, whoa. We don't know what it is, but we're never going to know anyway. So, at the end of the game, it's going to be one of the most painful endings I've ever seen in Ratchet series. I do remember the ending. At the ending, you know, uh, they tie Quark uh, to a wall, and they have this some sort of grabbing machine. Guess what that grabbing machine did to Quark? I mean, like, those, those robots, those little troop robots, those, like, you know, those little robots who actually made that machine... That claw thingy, at the ending, they didn't show it because it was really painful to watch. That thing just grabbed Quark's, and he started to scream at the ending. That is going to be the most painful and the most hilarious ending any, in any other Ratchet game. Sure, the Ratchet Clank 3 ending was also hilarious, but, you know, Ratchet Clank 2 ending has the best ending in the series. My god, it was painful and hilarious. But yeah, it's time I got their humor in the series, and I really enjoyed the laugh, even though I haven't got the game, but I ain't be able to get to play it again, but I get to that later. So now I'm done with going Commando, now it's time to talk about one of my favorite Ratchet & Clank games of all time, Ratchet & Clank 3, Up Your Arsenal. Oh man, I have so good memories with this game, and uh, as I can tell, uh, Released on November 2nd, 2004, so the original North American release. Um, this game rocks. It's so great. I really love this game. It's so amazing. So, before I get to uh, all the cool stuff about the weapons, and oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the Going Commando weapons. The Going Commando weapons uh, are cool, and they actually return some of the weapons of uh, Up Your Arsenal. Uh, I mean, the first game. So, yeah, there's nothing much to talk about. Now, let's worry about <laughs> Ratchet Clank 3. So, the story begins, uh, it takes place after the events of Going Commando, Ratchet Clank 2. Um, you know, Ra since uh, Clank and Ratchet is watching uh, their holophone on Secret Agent Clank, which also became a, a game on its own later on, um, suddenly there, you know, uh, Ratchet uh, watches the news, and suddenly uh, he found out that Veldon's on attack, and, you know, he's always prepared for Veldon because he still cares about the damn planet. Yes, he does. Even though he lives somewhere else, he still cares about Belton. What a good guy. So, he went to Belton.
Belden and, you know, just destroys all these pyranoids uh, of what they do into Belden. And there's these uh, robot troops called the Rangers, and uh, those are actually, you know, part of the good guys. So Ratchet became, like, the captain to the East or something like that because he's the hero. And they saved, they saved Belden and they got the message uh, from, you know, now they got a message from the president. The president said there was one person um, who actually defeated Nefarious in the past, before before he was uh, actually a robot. Um, they tell Ratchet and Clank to find him, and uh, they they heard that he lives on Planet Florana. So Ratchet and Clank uh, flew flew to there and uh, find a person who actually defeated Nefarious in the past. And um, you know, Ratchet was a little uh, like he looks wacko, and you know, he kind of looks similar to someone well basically it's really obvious that you can actually see who it is but yeah it's, uh, it's on the players um faces that they know who is who it is already i, I already knew who it is uh, because of that face you know that that butt chin it's so familiar <laughs> so yeah they finally meet up with with this mysterious person we're not gonna spoil it yet so the person said you have to walk the path of that, so Ratchet and Clank did that, and they finally... And this, uh, debuts, uh, Scrunch the Monkey. I really love that character. And then later on, they, um, have to force to go to the path of that, and they find out the secret end, and they find out who he is, and it was Captain Quark. And I guess, and since, you know, <laughs> that, that line, I really love that Ratchet said, Ugh, this guy's even dumber than, you know, Clank said, Captain Quark? And Ratchet was like, yeah. <laughs> And, you know, of course, he's his foot kick, and wow, Ratchet flew all <laughs> very far away, and that was hilarious. And then you're fighting Quark for the second time, well, not the third time, but, uh, yeah, he's actually fighting uh, the second time. And then later on, um, they went to the Phoenix, and, you know, just uh, finding out uh, to get Quark's memory back. So, uh, after a long, long thing, I'm not going to explain so many things about the whole story. Um, they played a bit comic and it, you know, revived Quark's memory and now he's himself again, but he's no longer to be turned out to be a villain, but he's just more heroic. So, I think he learned his lesson in the Bogey Commando, I'm, I'm pretty sure he did. But anyways, later on Quark became the captain and, you know, he explains uh, the mission uh, Arsenal about uh, the Tyranoids and... This game has a villain called Dr. Nefarious, aka the best villain ever. Every time he screams or, like, you know, go angry and stuff, and there's some sort of soap playing on his head or his brain, like, um, some sort of soap, uh, like, love and stuff. It's really hilarious, you know. And, uh, they, they have to slap him every time to get, to get his back to normal because he's always in freeze mode and stuff. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. But, um, anyways... Yeah, Dr. Nefer is a great villain, uh, and, you know, uh, his goal is, uh, to be able to turn, uh, everyone into, you know, every, like, uh, species that are non-robots, to turn them into robots, and to make them some sort of army, to, to create, a, a great, uh, robotic future, because, as I can think, um, he's sick of human, uh, uh other species, I'm pretty sure he is, because, uh, he was defeated in Captain Quark, according to the big comic, I did not know much about this game's story, but it's, you know, something like that. It wants to be a part of the robotic, of uh, uh, making something robotic uh, for the future. And it's up to Ratchet and Clank to stop uh, him doing this cause, because it is a terrible thing, and it will destroy planets. So, Ratchet and Clank uh, is there to stop Nefarious once and for all. So, finally, um, uh, you know, later in the game, uh, Quark, uh, uh, Calls Ratchet to go to the starport, like those that nefarious ship. And then um, Quark has to search for something, and the ship is about to blow. And then uh, Clunk, or could I say Clunk, push the button. Yes. Um, as I can tell, um, uh, later through that game, well, before that event with Quark and stuff, they meet a uh, like a robotic chick named Courtney Gears, and this is like a parody of Britney Spears, as I can tell. <laughs> Oh, that music video was gold. Seriously, that was comedy gold. Anyways, they meet up with her and, you know, they went to All Star Studios. And uh, they did a, a film. They were making a film of the next Secret Engine Clank movie. Ratchet got fired, and, you know, it's up to Clank to go. Uh, they are starting to film the movie. After 
that, um, uh, they played with Ben Trick, and then the Ferris is uh, talking about Clank to join him. And then later on in the game, uh, Clank turned out to be a little evil since um, Ratchet uh, said, uh, Clank, where are you? And stuff. And so, um, later on in the game, we finally get to the core part. Uh, the ship is about to blow. Uh, the red eyed Clank that turned out to be the evil Clank, the Clank, pushes the button. sad that uh, Quark, uh, they thought that Quark uh, has passed away in that ship and uh, he couldn't make it and you know Ratchet's giving out this hilarious speech and yes he mentioned the butt chin so yeah that, that that is something that's actually funny because he actually mentioned that he has a butt chin shape and, and you know Ratchet was like uh, uh, I don't know what to say about this guy <laughs> and then Clunk however says one one many Ratchet and Clank fans find one of the best moments ever Clank almost nearly swore sw uh, I mean, Clunk almost nearly swears and says, "What a load of bullsh!" And then Ratchet inter interrupts him, and he wa he wants to finish the line, but <laughs> yeah, it's a game. It's a kids' game. Uh, well, it's actually rated T for Teen in uh, America. I don't get why it's rated Peggy Three in in Europe and Australia, but but yeah, they censored for a reason. But yeah, so they uh, later on play uh, Vid Comic Four and. Um, they have to go to Metropolis in order to stop Nefarious. And there is where Nefarious is actually going to use the Fire Obliterator. You know, the thing that actually turns uh, people into robots. I'm, I'm going to explain about it later. Uh, so, you know, Nefarious is um, activating the switch, but the first switch was actually him singing. And, my God, my eyes were burning. Oh, God. Yeah, no, no, that's that's too immature. I'm, I'm not past Super Pro anymore from 2008 and 2009. Anyways. The second switch turned out to be the real switch to the Pyre Obliterator, and suddenly one of the Tyranoids, or all the Tyranoids, turned into robots, and Ratchet was a little surprised with this one. So later on, they finally meet up with Dr. Nefarious, well, the second time, not, not the first time. So they meet up with him, and suddenly um, he is actually uh, saying that he was stupid that because he fell for a trap that... He didn't know that the Clank who actually he met in Holostar Studios was actually Clunk. He didn't know until uh, he found out that they ca actually captured Clank. So uh, Ratchet ha so in order he wants to save the real Clank. Uh, Ratchet has no choice, so he has to fight Clunk to death. So he defeated Clunk and uh, saved saved Clank. And you know Clank uh, was like apologizing. You know I'm sorry, Ratchet and stuff. But you know Ratchet forgives him. Uh, from all these actions so yeah so later on um, they go into the crash site uh, finding out uh, what, what was Quark uh, looking for but in a surprising twist um, it turns out oh, later on in the game he doesn't even bother to save the world and Ratchet was like you're pathetic Quark I can't believe I once looked up to you let's go Clank past games he's you know he felt like not, he's not the real hero to be you know and so later on in the game near Final boss finally Ratchet and Clank encountered uh, Dr. Nefarious. And Quark is. After a middle of fighting Nefarious, he actually faked def he actually faked Ratchet and Clank that he's actually defeated, quote unquote. So he just. I, I just don't understand. Ratchet gets really easily tricked by such a joke like this. He was like, really? Uh, I mean, for how, how can Ratchet be tricked so easily? He. He was like, really? Uh, what the heck? Uh, I mean, can doesn't he realize that Nefarious is the trick, the tricker of the villains? Didn't he realize that he tricked both Ratchet, Clunk, and Quark? That you know, a self-destruct. That they didn't know that the ship was about to self-destruct and click it. So Ratchet knows that Nefarious is gonna trick him anyway. Ratchet got tricked three times in this game. How can Ratchet? easily get tricked by him so many times yeah looks like nefarious trolled ratchet so many times he's so easily to get tricked <sighs> whatever and yes he, he he was mad for a reason <laughs> yeah ratchet why did why do you get easily so tricked seriously so anyways be able to get in action and you know the main thing how which which um uh, uh, thing uh, co uh, nefarious m makes people into robots is uh, a ball called the fire obliterator and you know that thing actually changed people into robots that thing is really powerful but you know at, at the first part in the game they can't actually destroy it 
but later on became more powerful, so they have to use a ship. Anyways, yeah, that was Up Your Arsenal. I really love this game. I really love its comedy. Now, the weapons in this game are very clever. I really love the weapon. Now, my favorite weapon in this game, I have to go to with the, um, you know, what what it's called again? That, that weapon that actually shoots uh, rocket missiles. That, that weapon is my favorite in this game. It's definitely going to be my top 10 ranking like weapons. Anyways, so anyways, they actually returned some of the classic weapons from the, they, yeah, they did uh, from the first game. Uh, the, the Angels of Doom. Yeah, those uh, little tiny robots actually can kill enemies for you. And they can actually get upgraded. Let me think. I think they returned some old weapons. I cannot remember anymore, but yeah. This weapon also returned the weapons from Going Commando, which is appreciated because the first game has, like, the Going, the going Commando has, like, the first game weapons, so the third game gets Going Commando weapons. So, yeah, this is the first game in the series that I introduced into online multiplayer, and, you know, it's really fun. So, yeah, also you can also play a uh, uh, slide 2 of uh, Band of Thieves uh, demo. Uh, if you, you know, do go to the main menu, press uh, L2, R2, R L1, and R1 together, and you can play slide, slide 2. So, yeah, there's not much to say about Ratchet Clank 3, and now, on to the next game. Ratchet Gladiator. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Fail. Okay, before I'm actually going to the other games, let me talk about one of those three classics that I'm missing out going Commando. Okay, so... You do know that uh, Sony is actually making these collections, like, you know, the PS2 titles, they're reimagining, uh, not really reimagining, but they're remaking it uh, in HD. Like, you know, that the the PS2 games that actually came out, like God of War 1 and 2, um, they're being remade in HD, but now they have, uh, yeah, now they're remade in HD, but it has trophies. And, um, some, I think it has leaderboards in some games, but it actually does. I think, and then later on, uh, now they're actually doing it with the PSP titles, which is clever, but, yeah, they, they made the collections like the God of War collection, and the Sly collection, and right now, um, the Jack and Daxter collection is coming out this year, I'm very excited for that, uh, the Eco and the Shadow Colossus collection, the Tomb Raider collection, you know, any other collections that are being remade in HD. You know, Ratchet and Clank is actually one of the most popular uh, video game uh, franchises, uh, along with uh, Jack and Dexter and Sly Cooper. You know, since Jack and Sly is having his own HD remake, why not make you know Ratchet and Clank have its own uh, HD remake? Like you know, uh, we have like uh, a remake of Ratchet and Clank One, Ratchet and Clank Two, and Ratchet and Clank Three, and uh, give them trophies. And you know that. You know something about Ratchet and Clank 3's online multiplayer? It would be really cool to actually um, uh, make it a part for PSN. That that will make the multiplayer replayable again. Think about Insomniac. If Insomniac ever is going to watch this video, a Ratchet and Clank collection, we need that because Red, and since, you know, Sly and Jack are, are actually working on that. Insomniac Games, it's a perfect time to release an HD collection of those three games, minus Dialogue, because that game uh, didn't feel like a trilogy. But, you know, it would make sense to release the collection on the year, on the 10th anniversary. Well, who knows, maybe they're actually working on it right now. Because, um, we, we don't know, because they haven't even talked about it yet, but I'm pretty sure they are working on it. So now we're done with the PS2 era. Yes, I call this the PS2 era. There's three eras. So the PS2 era, which was the originals. The spin-off era, which is Ratchet and Clank, Gladiator, Size Matters, and Secret Ratchet and Clank. Okay, now I do know Size Matters is a part of the main series, but I get to that later. And then we have the Future Era, Ratchet and Clank Future, Tool Destruction, Ratchet and Clank Future, Quest for Booty, Ratchet and Clank Future, and Frank and Diamond. And then we have another era, which uh, uh, goes by all for one. So yeah.